Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture um, our Lego minifigure. So uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I think I'm going to aim for, um, I'm going to aim for something pretty simple like this. Uh, if you want to uh, explore uh, like different outfits and stuff, what you'll have to do is uh, find almost like flattened um, images, kind of like this, uh, that you can then use as texture files. So I think first I'm just going to find, we could use this for the face probably. I feel like it's a little too yellow. Let me see if there's a better one. Mm, is this a printout? <laughs> That's cool, you can do pirate. Okay, here we go. That one's pretty cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one. I like this one. Um, but yeah, kind of just explore a bit on what you want to do. Um, go ahead and save whatever image you choose. Um, and yeah, have that ready. Since we're going to texture some of the faces, um, I think most likely what I'm going to end up doing is we'll texture everything kind of first and then we'll go through and add in the face. So first I'm just going to select uh, the shirt there. If you remember from here, the shirt and the sleeves are just going to be like a red. Um, so you can select the arms as well and hold right click, do assign new material, do shader, AI standard surface, and then uh, just make it a red make mine pretty light and then he's wearing blue pants so just select the four elements that make up the pants section same thing hold right click do assign new material shader AI standard surface and change this guy to um, a pretty bright blue I feel like maybe a bit darker let's see Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then uh, these last two parts are going to be um, yellow. But I think first let's add in the face because I want to color match the face to the rest of it. So let's go into face mode and I'm just going to select maybe like those front four faces. Yeah. The face isn't too huge. Maybe we do the first six like that. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that should be symmetric. And then we're gonna do assign new material, shader, AI, AI standard surface, uh, but where the color is, I'm gonna click on this little checkered and then click file and then click on the folder and locate wherever that um, downloaded image was. Uh, okay, I don't know where mine went. I, did I download it? All right, for whatever reason, that image wasn't working, so I just grabbed this one instead. Um, and then 
go ahead and find that image and bring it in. And then I'm gonna go to, oh, there we go. I clicked on a six to see that texture. As you can see, it looks a little wonky. So I'm gonna edit some UVs. Um, all right, so now you can change your workspace to UV editing. And then what I'm gonna do is go to, uh, let's see, UV, and then do the 3D cut and sew tool. And I'm gonna sew, oh, go into edge mode. And I'm going to sew along um, the face that we're making here. Okay, there you go. Now it's all cut out. Um, the rest is fine. If you want, you can cut a line. Actually, I would probably do it in the back like that. Um, and then maybe do one uh, kind of like your almost like unzipping uh, like a shirt. You unzip the texture. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, now, oh, there we go. Um, now I'm just gonna go to click Q and then select all the UVs on that object and do modify unfold. So you should have these nice little sections and then go to modify again and do layout. And then um, basically what I'm gonna do is I want to try and, I'm gonna assign um, this texture again. So just select those faces, assign new material, and do the same thing, add in that Lego texture for the head. And then I'm gonna select these faces and move them on over. And then I'm gonna scale them to be the size that I want the face to be. You can click E and rotate it and move W and stuff to move it. Okay, before we keep going, um, I'm gonna select all these faces and then deselect those guys and do uh, assign new material, AI standard surface, and the color is gonna be the color of this, but I think that's a little too dark. Um, so what I want to do is go to Arnold and grab a sky dome light and then probably click seven to get that light. And then we're just gonna scroll all the way down to the end because I want to edit um, that yellow texture. So go ahead and find that texture, click on it and grab the same color as the yellow. And then, um, up to you on how you kind of want to edit these, but I'm just gonna uh, kind of mess around a bit with them, trying to make them look a bit more like a face, a little more centered. You can also go into like front view. Uh, oh, I guess maybe I modeled it backwards. You can change it to be the back view. Oh, no, that's fine. From view. Uh, yeah, you can kind of change what it looks like. So um, I think that looks pretty good. Next, I would just go into object mode and select these two objects and assign a new material. Oh, actually, we can do assign existing material and assign that yellow, which I, I think was six. Yeah, it was. Okay, I think the face is still a bit too 
low. So uh, you can just click on UV shell and then we can edit this shell kind of like directly. All right, I'm gonna pull up my reference too for him just to see how big that face is supposed to be. All right, actually, I'm feeling better about that. Um, last thing I would just do is click on poly modeling and grab a plane, scale it up, move it down so he's not walking through the floor, and then hold it, uh, hold right click, assign new material, and I'm just gonna add in this checkered texture. And then I'm gonna go back to Maya Classic and I'm gonna click on Arnold and render uh, just to like see how it looks and if I wanna change anything. Um, so in this view, I kind of feel like the face is looking too small, uh, which we can fix. So um, I'm gonna go back into UV editing and you can open up Arnold render here as well and kind of like scale it so it can sit here. Um, all right, I'm just gonna mess with scale a little bit. Um, There we go. All right, that is a, uh, that's about it. So if you guys have any questions on that, let me know, but this should be your kind of final looking uh, Lego figure. So let me know if you played around with um, textures or anything like that for clothing. I'd love to see your guys' cool creations, um, but that's about it. So I'll see you guys for our next tutorial. Bye guys.